and Radio Sagittarius International Astrological Chart. All the information you're looking for is you have blind spot. So in the future, Sagittarius, you'll be finding out you're in a third party. Is another woman involved or another person involved? You've also been seeing 444 a lot. You have annoyance. Okay. So you're not really happy and abandonment. You've also been um, ghosted in the future. Like in the future, you'll be ghosted or left out in the cold with abandonment. Okay. All right. You also have summer. There it is. This could have been going on since the summer. It's like you don't know that there's another woman. And someone has tried to make sure that another woman doesn't know about you. But it's right there. And abandonment keeps wanting to show itself as your final energy. All right, so. Someone has, um, in your future, someone will, you know, leave you behind because there's another person, okay? There's another person they're going towards. All right? I think you're really annoyed, but the truth of the matter is, um, rather you're in a relationship and someone's cheating on you, right? Or they have cheated on you, whatever, um... If you've been cheated on and whatnot, whoever they go after, they're not winning anything. They're getting someone who cheats on them. They're getting someone who would literally do the same thing that they've been doing to you, but now to them. And if you are um, someone who um, you didn't know someone was in a relationship and they put you in a third party or something of that nature, um, and they, you know, have in the future, you know, left you behind. You didn't lose anything. They cheat on their partner. They'll just find another doormat. Once they get sick of that one. Seriously, that's literally how it goes when people cheat. I mean, they don't have any regard for the person they're with. There is another, there's like, it's a third party situation. Someone's cheating on another person. Like, someone's cheating with someone else. And you don't know about it. You might have a nose ring. Okay. Um, some of you have like short hair, like like short, short, like maybe, I don't know, like two inches, three inches short hair. You may prefer to just wear it short. Okay. That's just what I'm saying. You know what's crazy, Sagittarius? I feel like you've been trying to act like you don't see that this person has another woman. And for a while, the other woman was trying to act like they didn't see you. But the truth of the matter is, is there. Okay, let's see the future for Sagittarius. For many of you, yeah, somebody is cheating in a relationship. They are... Um, first, for a lot of you, they were hiding from one person. They're in a relationship. And then whoever they're in a relationship with, they're hiding the fact that they're cheating on them in that relationship. Okay? And you couldn't even pretend like you didn't know there was another woman. All right? But the truth is there is. And that means that this has no longevity. The person who's in a relationship will never leave the person that they're with. Okay? Because the person that they're with doesn't have a backbone and enjoys being a doormat. They say it's fine for me to be in this relationship because I love them. And honestly, love is just not enough to be repeatedly cheated on. It's just not enough. Unless you don't love yourself, then you will settle for less than you truly deserve. And for many of you, if you are um, single, it's like a, um, a feeling of like you chose to be, you could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in your chart. You chose self-love. You chose self-love. And in, under, in like a, a realization that you didn't lose anything in the process of it. The fool. You didn't lose anything. Aquarius, Aries, Scorpio. It wasn't a relationship that was meant to last. It wasn't meant to with the fool. 
that's also like um you want this person to stop cheating you want them to stop um you know having third parties and treating you like an option and they're not gonna do that no matter how much you tell this person you know i would love it if you would you know um be more affectionate, flirt more, compliment me more, be more kind, be more consistent. This person will not change. Okay? Whatever it is you don't like about them, it will not change. You don't change the fool. That's Gaia. You don't change the fool. You don't change it. This person has no identity. Okay? Yeah. The moon and the four of cups. What that means is like, if you don't know yourself, then um, it's like, you can't be in a connection and relationship. The whole point of being in a relationship and a connection is you're honestly continuously getting to know that person because they're like the sea. Every person is like the sea. You will never completely know that individual, but you're going to try to the death of you, to the end of your days to, to get to know what this person's all about right you're in your ship in my favorite reggae ship right and you're just journeying through trying to figure out this individual with the fool um it's like because they don't know who they are they don't necessarily care about who you are they want your validation and when you want um validation it's because you don't validate yourself because you don't know who you are so in the future i'm seeing um the four of cups which is if you're in a relationship you are so bored like really really bored um like you want other options but you feel like you can't it's gonna start to make you feel um someone doesn't feel good it, you may like it may start to emotionally impact you you may feel it in the gut it's cancerian um, if you're a woman, you'll start to feel it in your breasts. You'll start to feel it in your, your your womb, anything that's feminine, the sexual organs. If you're in a relationship, okay, like it's, you're really bored in it. Um, you feel like you're just settling. You want other love options, but you feel like you can't have those. You feel like you're not allowed to have those. Because you're in a relationship. With the moon, what's hidden is a secret love. Somebody has a secret love here that they've been keeping a secret and that's how they've been able to stay in this relationship for as long as they have. Even though they're very bored, there's no excitement in it and they want other love options. They keep the other option a secret, the moon. While they seek validation, the fool, they know that this is a short-term um, relationship. You're also traveling. I see you doing something you've never done before in a um, in your career. Like I, I see you doing something different. You're way too complacent in your career. You need to do something different now, Sag. You may work the graveyard ship. I mean, it is literally six thirty a.m. Pacific time here, and that's Vegas, Nevada. I'm um. Oh my God, that's a lot of cards. I'm. What's it called? Well, it's January 16, 2022. I'm, um, I've been working through the graveyard shift, um, getting your readings done and they're going to be coming out. You'll probably see this before the full moon, which is on the 17th, the full moon in Cancer. For many of you, this is happening very soon. Um, this is happening very, 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 yeah, the world. You don't see it coming though. It's happening very soon. Two of Wands. If you're in a relationship, this person is unfaithful with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. They're looking at other options in love. They're looking at other options in love. But those other options are the other option. For many of you, it's another person. They have you and they have someone else. That other person that is exciting them and stuff like that that they're watching is in another state or country that's how you've never you, you didn't know that this person was cheating they have another person that person is far away from them though probably in another state or country with the world um they watch that person on the world wide web 
with the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. He's in reverse. That's not good. That's never good when he's in reverse. So, with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, regarding work, there is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, a demotion, okay? You could be unemployed, you could lose a job with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This is also body dysmorphia energy, very jealous with the Knight of Pentacles. That's what's coming up in your future. Um, you're also being unfaithful with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This is someone who likes to play a lot of video games. They like to be submerged into the physical um, matter. They don't like to think of uh, practicality or um, keeping their promises. This is someone who breaks promises. You cannot rely on this person with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. You cannot trust this person. This is someone who does cheat in a relationship. They're currently doing that right now. Now, I feel like you're finding this out during this full moon, which is on the 17th. So you probably will be finding out this. I mean, I'm posting these videos before the full moon. I'm filming this. Um, I just checked the time. It's actually 7 o'clock a.m. Pacific time, January 16, 2022. Um, yeah, you weren't able to see it. But you were feeling it intuitively that this person maybe didn't want to be around you. Maybe they weren't flirting. They were rejecting you. Never allow someone to tell you that they don't want you twice. Okay? Don't do that. If someone tells you the first time, look, I don't want you or I'm not interested in you or you're putting in work and they're not giving it back, stop giving. Um, whoever you're dealing with, I see you like, you find love online to a wand. Whoever you're dealing with, though, they found someone online. They found love online. That person's in another state or country, though. You have the snake, the divorce, um, wrapping around the world. Transformation. A 30-year cycle is over as well. Financially, um... This will be hitting your pockets. So what does that mean? It's like, rather this person was unfaithful to you and you're in a relationship or they decide to stay in the relationship and they hurt someone outside of your relationship, right? Who didn't know they were in a relationship. Like they were cheating on you with that person and that person got hurt. Their karma is it will hit their pockets first. They could even lose their job with the Knight of Pentacles. Like, it would be like, what? Where is this coming from? With the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, their karma is going to be like, um, they could be overweight or uh, sickly. Their health will decline. Money will decline. Uh, Self-esteem will decline with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. They're not reliable. They will not be reliable in the future. You will not be reliable with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Okay? Um, many of you will also break away. If you're in a relationship with this person, I see that this cycle does end up closing. You just won't be with this person. With the fool, this person's actually going this, like, the fool's going that way. With the moon here, what's been hidden is why you're being rejected in the relationship or why they're not interested in you in the relationship, why there's no, there's no anything, there's no reciprocation. It's because there's a secret love. Okay, you'll be finding this out in the next four days, next day or next four days. Most likely during this moon in Cancer for a uh, full moon, I believe it is. I believe, is it a full moon? It's a wolf moon. I believe so, yes. I believe so. I want to say it is. Hold on, I might check. Let me look at my iPad. Is this a full moon? Yep, it's a full moon. Okay. Um, 
this secret love is revealed like you can't deny it i feel like you've been trying to act like it's not happening or something like that or living in an illusion you can change somebody you can't change anybody this person will remain this way because that's who they want to be and that's their right it's their karma to face so rather you are somebody who um you're in a relationship and you decide to stick with this person you will also have to deal with the karma that this person um inflicted on somebody else outside of your relationship by them harming another person right and staying in your relationship they brought negative karma into the relationship you've also been seeing 555 a lot um rather you leave this relationship and this person goes off to um somebody else right and they leave you behind the karma is still going to be that this individual will financially suffer there's going to be some form of like the karmic justice of it is not being stable not being practical not feeling good about oneself like there's a people think that you can just do actions that aren't good and then you'll be okay this is like someone does actions that aren't good and they're paying for the karma of it like they're finally believing in karma that what they put out it came back and because it was impractical it was selfish it was jealous it was just formed it wasn't healthy that's what's coming back um because they stole from people money will leave their pockets out of nowhere like in ways like what happened to my money i just had that money they won't be able to hold on to money oh i just got i just got some of that money and then all of a sudden you got to pay for this 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 is it's something like that this person's pockets will suffer as the knight of pentacles in reverse the more their pockets suffer the lower their self-esteem goes it's, it's going to be a chain reaction lower the self-esteem um there'll be a lowering of the self-esteem also there's a resentment like an anger this person willingly decided you willingly decided with the nine of pentacles in reverse to stay in a relationship and a commitment you're not actually happy in. and it's almost like someone willingly decided to be in that type of situation and they didn't they didn't think anything would happen to them like they thought they could cheat on people and everything's fine oh i can have their part of it like no the universe saw everything, everything. you don't just do stuff and nothing happens there's always a cause and effect someone's realizing that what is the wow look at that you have the mountain I've never seen, that is crazy. What, this doesn't even belong in this deck, it's the Eight of Wands. If that's not a coincidence, I don't know what is. Sagittarius and Mercury, this is also the world. Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Libra, energy, obstacle or problem, distant, cold, indifferent, interruption, delay, stubborn, pride, solitude, block, barrier. Whew, there's an ending of a connection or a relationship for many of you. Many of you are traveling as well advice what's the advice wow you know mountains block things like you're not able to see certain things it could literally be that someone's actually at a distance someone could um they could be blocked communication or someone's not communicating or the communication has stopped eight of wands um I feel like there's no love going in between you two it's really crazy what is the oh my goodness they wanted to show you the ten of cups is in reverse many of you have been pretending to be happy in a relationship or a commitment you're not actually happy in. like you guys pretend to family and friends oh we're great we're fine we're good right social media we're great we're fine we're amazing we look great together we look amazing everything's great and behind closed doors it's a living nightmare there's child abuse child neglect there's no happiness take that as confirmation no happiness 
Oh, you have a bunch of cards. There's no happiness here, though. Um, you may have just had a boy. You may have just had like a boy child, okay? Hidden energy for Sagittarius. Ten of Swords is in reverse, Gemini and Mercury. It's a very messy um, ending. It's a messy breakup, like everybody finds out about it. It's very messy. And it, it was because of a lot of betrayal. Somebody was put in ten, like someone was, the masculine energy was harming the feminine energy in this situation and harming someone else too. Many people got hurt in this situation. And it's not recoverable with the Ten of Swords in reverse. Um, with the Two of Cups is in reverse, Venus and Cancer can be Leo. You have the Queen of Wands, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Fisius, Ten of Cups, Pisces. In Mars, your advice is, you've turned your back, honestly, but advice is, this is how you're looking. You're not even looking at it. <laughs> or someone isn't. If you stayed in a relationship, then this would be you two. You're not compatible with each other, but you're in it. You're just not compatible. The, the advice would be to break up. Two of Cups from versus a breakup. It's just a lot of fighting. It's incompatibility. We're not on the same page. We're not on the same book. We ain't in the same library. Hell, we ain't even in the same county. We're not, it's, it's not working. Two of Cups from versus like, there's just a bunch of fighting um, and two people split ways. If you're in this relationship, you're only in it because you feel sorry for them and they feel sorry for you. You don't even want to drink their cup and they don't want to drink your cup. With the Queen of Wands, for many of you, if you were the single energy that just didn't know someone was in a relationship, now you're finding out whatever, you've already moved past that. Because you're not, you're not even looking at this or them or whatever. You wouldn't be connected to, to these people. Rather, you're just not connected on social media, not... You're just not connected emotionally, mentally, spiritually, sexually. Queen of Wands, that's a go-getter. That's someone who's misindependent. Misindependent, that's why I love her. Queen of Wands is also the business owner. She's the witch. She's the tarot card reader, the psychic, the medium, the seer, the dancer, actor, rapper, singer. She's on display. Party doesn't start until this woman walks in and she is adored by those around her. Now, if you um, are single, you are being adored by many people. You're very well known. You're very famous. Um, and you're perfectly fine being single. Mostly because you see so many people around you that are unhappy. Like, in relationships. They're in relationships that they're not even happy in with the Ten of Cups in reverse. They're not even happy. They pretend to be happy. But they're not happy. Your advice is to believe in yourself. With the Queen of Wands also, like, keep doing what you're doing here. Many of you um, are leaving a relationship. Like, you are, you've broken up with the person and you're moving on with your life. And you're not even looking at it. If you were a third party, you know, you didn't know someone was in a relationship or you didn't know someone was juggling you and you were single and they were just really good at hiding it, right? They were at a distance you didn't know. Right? And you're outside of this relationship. I see that you um, have already moved on. You already turned your back. You know, you know that it's not your responsibility to have honestly any real opinion or emotion about it. You're just moving forward in your life. Literally. You're just focusing on yourself. Queen of Wands. other people's issues and what they got going on or why they decided to do what they do you don't think it's any of your business and you're completely correct it's not because the truth is yes two people will stay together that are extremely unhappy together maybe because they have kids maybe just because they just they don't love themselves enough honestly and that's their problem to do they might not even see it as a problem have you ever thought that maybe they're each other's karma? They're in reverse. It's not like they're having a very merry time. They're miserable with the two of cups in reverse. They're not even compatible. 
You get what I'm saying? It's not like... It's not, it's not like, oh, and then everyone lives happily ever after. No. Nobody lives happily ever after in that type of situation. Because at the end of the day, as you move on, right, and you're moving forward, you're allowing yourself to meet new love. If you're still in this relationship, you're delaying yourself from experiencing that by being with someone who doesn't even love themselves. And you're only with them because you don't love yourself. It goes both ways. Okay. It goes both ways. I feel like also um, there's an awareness that somebody made someone cry like a lot. Rather, it was the person who's in the relationship, the woman who's in the relationship, or the woman who's outside the relationship. And somebody was like, honestly, for many of you, you um, are single and you're just moving forward in your life, right? You uh, could be, honestly, for advice, like you could be the person who was outside a relationship, you're just moving forward, right? Um, there's like a confidence that's washed over you. You're very optimistic knowing that you were brave enough to open yourself up to something new new people new experiences that you truly do deserve and you're not settling for less than what you deserve um where did your charm just go it was just here it was literally just here hold on i'm not oh here it is after all this time always it looks like it's a deer or something <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, that's what I got for you. You're going to do what you feel is best for you. And some of you will stay in a uh, toxic relationship with the two, like an official relationship. If there's an official relationship here, it is very toxic. But you guys are in it. Maybe because of children and because of status, because of what other people think, even though you guys are miserable in it. I mean, this is worse than a nightmare. It's way worse. It's the Ten of Cups in reverse, not the Nine of Cups. Um, it went past the extent of you don't love yourself and the other person doesn't love themselves. Now it's like this union is promoting toxicity, basically. So, yeah. It will impact your family. It will impact, impact your, uh, what's it called, your pockets. Um, if you have children, your children, pets, pets, um, it's going to impact your environment, your psyche, your happiness. I see you just crying all the time and that's not healthy. That's not normal. That's not normal that someone can bring out that type of emotion in you simply because they don't love themselves. If you're ever put in a position where the love you have for someone literally makes you feel like you have to choose between do I love me or do I love them more? That's not love. No. If I ever get to that type of point where I'm like, look, I really want to love you, but loving you means I don't get to love me because you're not showing me that you love me. So me nurturing the situation with you, that's not love because it's unquieted. If you ever get to that point, no. I, I can speak for myself personally. And if I've ever gotten to a point with that with somebody, I leave. There's no point for me to stay in the situation. I don't bring you happiness, that's fine. If you have to choose between me and another woman, pick her, I'm good. Because at the end of the day, I would just end up in her same position of you cheating on me later with someone else who's a doormat. Sorry, I don't wanna be a part of your concubine, okay? Nobody wants to be a part of that and what you got going on and wanting someone to stroke your ego with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. The person only has third party situations because they have no confidence, no money, and no stability. They have no self-esteem, no self-value, no self-worth. They don't have any morals with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. That's why they do what they do. They could steal from people and not care. That's what the Knight of Pentacles does. He stays in relationships for money. So, you know, do what you think is best for you at the end of the day. Many of you who are single, though, you are happy that you faced the truth. In the process of that, it made you look at the darkest parts of yourself, like the dark night of the soul, in order for you to move forward. And you transformed with the snake. Um, you're very optimistic. You're very excited for the future. 
as you meet new people and you date. That's what I'm saying. All eyes are on you. And um, if you are in a relationship, people know this person is cheating on you. They know. This is not like it's not public knowledge. Everybody knows. Your family knows. Colleagues know. Schoolmates know. Siblings know. Friends. Everybody. It's not hidden. Um, you could very well be... Um, this could be like you work in... Like, you could be posted on the blogs, blogs. Someone could put it on social media. Like, if you're in a relationship, someone will put it on social media like what someone did, that someone cheated and did it, all that type of stuff. It's not good. Um, it's very messy. It's very public. And uh, this has been your reading. Some of you work with finances, taxes, loans, assets, other people's money. Nine of Pentacles, you can work in the spotlight, entertainment industry, work with children, health, um, technology, you could be in the army, philosophy, psychology, spirituality, he could work with uh, the human body even, any way, shape, or form. That could be massage therapy, that could be athletic training, that can be, you could be a coach, you could be a doctor, you could be a nurse with the, with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Um, yeah, this has been reading all the Buddha products and services that I provide in the description box down below next to the butterfly. Also, some of you have just graduated and you have a fear of leaving a job you're very complacent at because the other opportunity is in another location, another part of the world. It would require you to relocate, travel, and do something you've never done before, like a new job or do something you've never done before in your career. All right. All the food products and services are provided in the description box down below next to the butterfly. Ashe.